Hi there, welcome to the first episode of Build to Do Apps Prototype with Bootstrap. In this video, I want to show you how to build to do applications prototype with Bootstrap from scratch. Here are the final project that we are going to build. Here in the top, there's Napbar with dark color, Napbar brand on the top left, and drop down menu on the top right which consists of current username and logout link. Below that, there's a page title on the left and a create new list button on the right. When we click this button, the form create new list is pop up. The form consists of list name and description, close button and save button. When we create new list, it would be show in this list here in the list item, it consists of lists with large text and below that is a description with smaller text. When we hover over this list item, the button will appear on the top right. I'll start to explain from this middle button here. This button has same functionality with create new list button showing to the list model. Uh, because in this video we discuss about how to create a prototype or a template, we no need to worry how to populate existing data to the form. The next one is remove button. This button will be used to remove selected item. And this blue one is manage task button. When we click this button, the task model would show up in this model, there's a text box to enter new task, and below that, showing all tasks that has been created. We can mark the task as completed by check the checkbox on the left here. In the model footer, there are several buttons on the left. These buttons will be used to filter completed tasks or active tasks. On the right, there's a counter of the active tasks. Okay, enough talking, let's jump right in. Uh, here, I have created blank project called to-do app in my web server. We want to play with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, so you can put your project you prefer. Uh, here, I also open Bootstrap homepage. You can go to getbootstrap.com and click download bootstrap button. Here there are three options and just click the first button. Once it's done, let's open the file, extract, cut everything and paste to our project. Here I've also created index.html file which is currently empty. Let's go back to our browser and click the basic template link in the right navigation. Click the copy button to copy basic template to clipboard. Let's open the index.html file. For now, I'll use Atom editor, but you can use other editor you prefer. Here in the index.html, let's paste the HTML we just copied. For the title, I want to change to Ajax to do app. And we don't need to change external bootstrap CSS and JavaScript file uh, because it has correct path. Here, instead of including jQuery from Google APIs, I want to save locally. Now let's go back to browser and reload the page. There we go, our bootstrap hello world message has show up. Now let's go back to editor and prepare custom JavaScript and CSS file. So in these files we are going to change the styles or divine even handler without touching the core bootstrap files. Um, I want to use OpenStance from Google Font, so here I'm going to Google Font website, choose the font, and follow the instruction. Uh, 
Alright, now let's create navigation bar on the top. Back to Bootstrap homepage. Click the Napper link. Here is the example of how Napper look like. Below that is the example code. Just click the copy button in the top right to copy the code to clipboard. Let's go back to editor. We don't need this hello world anymore. Paste the navbar that we just copy here and align it to make the navbar stay on top even when we scroll the page we can add navbar dash fixed dash top class I don't want to pull with layout so instead of container dash fluid class I change to container class let's remove left navbar links and form we just need drop down on the right showing the current username with logout link and we also change the navbar brand to become to app instead of light color navbar let's change to darker all right below navbar let's add header on the left and button on the right we are going to put this in header tag to wrap our site contents and house our grid system we create a div with container class below that we start using bootstrap grid system by creating a div with class row in a row we can make one to 12 grid columns i don't want to make the to the list item uh, too wide so here I'll use column medium 8 and in this column let's divide into two parts left and right the left side for the title and the right side used for the button now let's see how it look like the fixed nav bar will overlay other content so we have to add padding to the body now the header and the button appear but they are not in one baseline. Let's wrap both these elements in clearfix class to clearing floating element. Now let's see again in browser. Nothing changed. Let's inspect the element. Uh, the bootstrap heading has 20 pixel margin on top and 10 pixel on the button. So to make the button in same line we have to add some margin with heading we also have four column grid remain on the right to make the content in the center let's add another class call md offset 2 Mm, it should be full right class. Let's make a little bit style to the header. Darker background, lighter color, 15 pixel padding, 20 pixel margin button, and make the border button with darker color. We also need to make a little bit style the header title. Make it uppercase with font bold and make the letter spacing tighter. Alright, let's add the to do list in our page. We are going to use list group class at the parent container and list group item for the list item. Here we use list group item heading class for the to do list name. Inside, we add span with page class. 
we use list group item text class for to do list description and we need three buttons here edit list delete list and create task button Now let's make the list group item heading more bigger and make the group item text color lighter. Much better. Now let's add hover effect to the list item. Pretty good. Okay, the next thing we have to do is hiding these buttons and make them appear when hover over the list item. Let's go back to custom.css and define new rules for buttons class. Let's make the position absolute to positioned relative to its first positioned ancestor element. With the position absolute, we have to specify the width of the element and we can also use top, button, left and right property to adjust the location. Let's see how it looks like. Let's inspect element. We have to make the width more wider. Now let's change the top value. Um, I think 10 pixel is good and the right is 10 pixel as well. Now let's hide the button and make it show only when we hover over the list item. Let's add icon before current username in the top right number here. Now let's add image background to the header and body of this app. First, let's go ahead to subtlepatterns.com and find the patterns then put the pattern to our project I create new directory called IMG and put all image patterns here back to custom.css and let's apply the image pattern as image background. Okay, pretty good. Now let's style the navbar brand. Let's wrap the to-do text with strong tag to make it bolder. Then we change the number brand's font size, color, and letter spacing.
we make the strong element bolder, letters passing title, give padding right, free pixels, and color white, and we also make the number brain uppercase. Reload the page. Perfect. Um, instead of div tag, let's change to an order list or UL tag to make it semantic. After that, let's add panel footer. In this footer, we show how many items we have. Reload the page. Great. Let's change the color of the panel footer text. Reload the page. Okay, perfect. Now, let's make this button functional. So when we click this button, the create new list model would pop up. Let's go to Bootstrap website and click JavaScript menu. Click the model section. Scroll down. Here we got the markup. Just click the copy button to copy Bootstrap markup to clipboard. Back to editor, and let's add after call md8 closing tag. Let's change the title and add subtitle below that. Let's add a class to this button. We will select the element with jQuery selector using this class to showing the model. We are not using id html attribute here uh, because we would showing the model when click edit button as well. Jump to app.js file and let's define the click event handler for this class. We also need to define id for our model. Let's give it to-do list model. Back to app.js and here we select the model ID and show it up. Let's try. Alright, now let's change the model body with form. Let's try again. Let's add image pattern to this model background. Much better. Uh, but I think the model title is wrong. We also need to make edit button functional. Let's select all edit button because edit button using btn dash default so we can easily select all by hitting control plus d in atom. If you using sublime, it's pretty much the same. Let's add show to do list model. Now let's try to click edit button. All right, perfect. And that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll learn how to make task model dialog. See you then.